Well, the Boise community is devastated after 16-year-old Jaden Zaraski died after being hit by a truck yesterday. People who knew the 16-year-old from family, friends, and students who went to school with him have been mourning his loss. Our Hector Mendoza spoke with some child psychologists in an effort to help understand the, the impact that something like this has not only on the family, but the community as well, right, Hector? Yeah, this is a very traumatic situation and something nobody wants or expects to be going through. But for those who witnessed this accident or people who knew Zorowski, they might go through some type of trauma and there are resources available to help. None of us are prepared for, uh, for children to die. A very tragic day for the city of Boise yesterday. 16-year-old Jane Zorowski lost his life after being hit by a truck. And many people, including his friends, are mourning after such a tragic event. Teens that knew him put up posters, left flowers and notes for their dear friend in hopes to keep his memory alive. Other community members also gathered to give their condolences. But how hard is an event like this on these young teens, especially for those who witnessed the accident? It can affect all areas of life, whether it's just daily living tasks or um, just social interactions um, and um, just being out in the community. And so it really can have an impact in every facet of life. And it doesn't only affect the family and the witnesses, it can have a ripple effect throughout the community. Classmates, neighbors, all of those people are impacted because none of us is ever prepared for a child's death. One thing that youth counselors and psychologists suggest is to help your child talk through what they saw and what they're feeling. They also say the best thing to do for your child in this situation. You seek out therapeutic services and support in their community, um, especially in the schools. There are designated therapists and counselors in the schools to support them. The Boise School District put a crisis team into place once they found out that Zorowski, a Boise High student, had passed away. That is a team that consists of well-trained, uh, very knowledgeable, uh, highly professional individuals who, who play the role of, uh, who are professionals in the areas of counseling, uh, child psychologists, social worker as well. This crisis team is available to students, parents and staff members that need or want help regarding this incident, and they will be ready to help from now until the start of the school year. The Boise School District sent out an email to all Boise High stu uh, School students, family and staff with information about the crisis team. The team was at Boise High earlier today and counselors and other resources will be available on Monday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they will also be there throughout the start of the school year, which is in about a week and a half. Yeah, no doubt a tough time for all of the students and the families, but it's great that they have those resources available. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Hector.